Admiral Jim Hood is on the campaign trail, making his case in the race for governor. He took part in a town hall on the campus of the University of Southern Mississippi, hosted by their college Democrats. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris reports from Hattiesburg. The leading Democratic contender for the governor's office took to the Pine Belt to spread his campaign message. It's an area that, that, that likes public education and uh, many of the issues that I support people down here support. He's calling out state leaders, including Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves, on using teacher pay raises as election year politics. It happens in election year. People, you know, they get religion. You know, we need people to go to church more frequently than just right here in an election year. So those that are talking about education, you know, they hadn't done anything to help it. Hood has committed to a teacher pay increase until the southeastern average is met. I think we ought to do it every year till we get to the southeastern average to commit uh, to pay our teachers for all the things that they put up. Some of his message to the crowd was on criminal justice reform, the economy, infrastructure, and health care. Building roads is an easy one. I think the boats have been in the legislature to do that. I think we should take a billion dollars from the federal government to keep our rural hospitals open and I know the people here want to make sure that we have, have, have good health care as well. We had a lot of work to do on education. The four-term AG also addressed why Reeves has targeted him despite We've been a Republican primary fight ahead of him. He, he's been looking at the polls. He knows uh, uh, that the people in the state of Mississippi are ready for change. Hood says Reeves is concerned. A lot of other critics, they're talking about things that are going on in Washington that have nothing to do with Mississippi. And, uh, you know, we've seen it historically when people try to scare voters. Uh, usually people figure it out. They know, they know when somebody's running scared. Hood has taken on eight other candidates in the Democratic primary. Reporting in Hattiesburg, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12. To see a full list of people running for Mississippi governor, head over to our website at WJTV.com. And a reminder that WGTV 12 is your local election headquarters. We'll have everything that you need to know ahead of the August 